Uh, hello, everyone. <clears throat> so remember last time when we last met, we looked at area of aromas. Uh, we looked at area of aromas, and uh, today we are going to look at area of a kite. We are going to look at area of a kite. So we are finding, finding, finding the area. Finding the area of a kite. Area of a kite. Remember, we looked at the properties of a kite. Uh, we say um, it's a quadrato, meaning that it's a four sided figure. And uh, we also say its adjacent sides are equal. So now let me try to draw the diagram of a kite. And we look at it. Illustration. So this is how a kite looks like. This is how a kite looks like. Uh, that is a kite. Uh, opposite sides of a kite are equal to adjacent sides of a kite are equal. So this side is equal to this side in length, and this side is also equal to this side. And the diagonals, <coughs> as the diagonals meet, they bisect each other at 90 degrees. They form four right angled triangles. <coughs> Now these are the diagonals. So this is um, uh, this is uh, diagonal one. I'll call this diagonal one. Diagonal one, uh, which I can call D one. Then this is the second diagonal. This is diagonal two. Two. Yeah, that is diagonal 2 which I will call D2 so it has got two diagonals now and this is what we are going to do area area is area over rhombus area over kite Area can be can be formed. Area of a kite can be formed using using three methods. Area of a kite can be formed using three methods. Using three methods, namely uh, using three methods, namely one. Using diagonals, you can find the area using diagonals. Uh, this is method one, using diagonals. Using diagonals, we can use diagonals to find the area of a kite. We can use number two, using the four, using the four right angle right angle triangles we can use the four right angle triangles to find the area three we can also use use using the two right angle triangles the two right angle 
triangles. And so those are the three ways we are going to look at. And we can find area of a triangle one using diagonals of a kite. Uh, we can find area of a kite one using diagonals of a kite using the four right angle triangles that make up the kite. These four right angle triangles are this, 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 and that. Um, then uh, using the two right angle triangles, which are the two right angle, right angle triangles, this one and this one, those are the two right angle triangles. So now, make examples. Let's go to the example. Example. Um, calculate QOP, OP, the question is OPQR. OPQR is a kite, is a kite. OPQR is a kite. Full stop. Calculate, calculate, calculate its area. Calculate its area. A. OPQR is a kite. Calculate its area. So now I'm going to draw that kite. OPQR is a kite. Calculate its area. I've said we are going to use three methods work out one question assuming this is my kite yeah, this is my kite So this is my kite and um, it's four centimeters, four centimeters and here it's eight centimeters, this is eight centimeters. Eight centimeters and um, up it is four centimeters and four centimeters. So that is the kite. Remember, a kite is not a rhombus. A kite is not a rhombus, a kite is not a parabola. We say adjacent sides of a kite are equal. Adjacent sides of a kite are equal. Now we are going to find the area, and the method I'm going to use, method, I'm going to use method one. Method one, that is using using diagonals using diagonals so it is r p q o that is the kite using diagonals in the first method i'm going to use diagonals to work out the area area of a kite is equal to a half times diagonal one times diagonal two. That is area of a kite. Or it can be area of a kite is equal to diagonal one times diagonal two divided by two. Either way, you can either use this or this. So we are going to use this one. Now, since we have said that area, uh, this is method one, we have said that area of a kite is equal to a half times diagonal one times diagonal two. Area of a kite is equal to diagonal uh, a half times diagonal one times diagonal two. So we need to first find out what is the length of diagonal one. Diagonal one is equal to let me take diagonal 1 to be OQ. OQ is diagonal 1. OQ is diagonal 1. Uh, 
let me take my diagonal one to be O cube. A. Now I find the length of the diagonal one. They have said from here up to here it's four centimeters. And from here up to here is eight centimeters. That means to get the length of diagonal one, which is O cube, we are going to add four centimeters to eight centimeters. So it is four centimeters plus eight centimeters. That means the length of diagonal one is 12 centimeters. That is the length of diagonal one. So we go to diagonal two. Okay, that is the second diagonal. The second diagonal is PR. Is PR. PR is the second diagonal. How do we get the length of diagonal PR? So from here up to the center is four centimeters. From here up to here is four centimeters. So that means we are supposed to add four centimeters plus four centimeters, which gives us eight centimeters. That means the length of diagonal one is eight centimeters. I think we must have understood that. So now we go and substitute into the formula. So which is going to be a half times the length of diagonal one, which is 12 centimeters, times the length of diagonal two, which is eight centimeters. So we can divide by two, one by two, six centimeters. So we remain with six centimeters times eight centimeters. Six times eight, that is 48. CM times CM, that is CM squared. So that is the area uh, using diagonals. Now, Using the for method two, I'm going to use method two. Method two, method two is using using the four right angle triangles. Right, using the four right angle triangles. And now we are using the four right angled triangles to find the area. Now you realize area is going to be, a, we, we are going to extract one. This one and this one have got the same height and the same base. That means one of the triangles we have is that one, it is four centimeters by four centimeters. This is what I'm extracting, this one. Four centimeters, four centimeters. You realize that these four triangles have not got the same area, but the two have got the same area. These two will, be, will have the same area, and these two will have the same area. Why? Because they share the same base and the same height. This one's base is four, its height is four. This one is base is four, its height is eight. Even this one has got the same height and the same base with this one. So now, the other one, the other one is this. Sorry. Okay, the second triangle, if I make my extraction, okay, it's this is four centimeters. The height is four centimeters. The base is eight centimeters. Now, if I want, since this kite is made up of four triangles, now when I find the area of this one, I multiply it by two. I would have got the total area of these two. So that means when I'm working out, I will say area is equal to a half is equals to a half. times base times the height is equals to a half times the base times the height. Times two, why, why multiply by two? Because they are two right angle triangles. I'm getting the area of one and multiply by two to get the total area of these two. Plus, I also get the area of these other ones, which is going to be a half times base times the height. But I multiply that.
the area by two y to get the total area of these two times two, sorry. I think we are together. Now, uh, which is going to be, I substitute, which is going to be a half times the base, which is four centimeters, times the height, which is four centimeters, times two, because the triangles are two, okay? Plus a half times the base, which is eight centimeters, times the height, which is four centimeters, times two, because the triangles are two of this kind, the triangles of that kind are two. So now, I'll, these two, I'll cancel it with that one. So I remain with four centimeters times four centimeters. Okay. Plus, uh, these two, I'll cancel it with these two. I remain with eight centimeters plus four centimeters. So four times four, that is 16. CM times CM, that is CM squared, plus, so I've got the area of the two triangles, this one, these two, their total area is 16 centimeters squared, plus the area of these other two, this one and this one, okay? That will be eight, please, this is a multiplication sign, okay, that is eight times four, H times 4, I am going to get 32. CM times CM, I get CM squared. So when I add, total area will be 48 centimeters squared. You realize that <coughs> the area is the same as in, as in method 1. So that is our second method. Using the four right angle triangles to find the area of a kite. Now, we are going to use our last method. We are going to use our last method that is using using the two right angle triangles that make up the kite. Now we are going to use the two right angle triangles and that is method two. Method three. So method three Method three that is using using okay, some correction here using using the two isosceles. This is isosceles using the two isosceles triangles. Yes, there are two isosceles triangles using. Two isosceles, isosceles triangles. Okay, that is our third method. So we are now using two isosceles triangles to find the area of this kite. Now the first one is here. This one. It is O. O. RP. The height is four centimeters. And the base, remember here is four, four centimeters and four centimeters here. So when you add the two, okay, when you add the two, you get eight centimeters. Because remember, since from here up to here, from here up to the center four, from here up to here is four. So four plus four, we get eight centimeters. Now the second one is the other isosceles triangle, uh, which is um, PR, which is PR, the base is PR, which is from here up to here. The height is, eight centimeters. So remember this is four centimeters, this is four centimeters. Now their base 
is 4 plus 4, which is 8 centimeters. That means they all have the same base, but have got different heights. The height of this triangle is 4. The height of this triangle is 8. I think we are together. Now we are going to find the area. Remember, joining the two together, you get back the kite. Meaning that when you get the area of this one plus the area of this one, we get where and we are to get the total area, we have got the total area of the kite. So area is equals to a half times the base times the height. This time we are not multiplying by two because we have two triangles which have got different base, different heights. So they can't have the same area. Plus a half times the base times the height. So we substitute, which is a half, times the base, which is eight centimeters, times the height, which is four centimeters, plus a half, times the base, which is eight centimeters, times the height, which is also eight centimeters. So by two, one by two, four centimeters. So this is four centimeters times four centimeters. Plus, uh, by two, one by two, four centimeters. That is four centimeters times eight centimeters. So we end up getting area as 4 times 4, that is 16. Cm times Cm, that is Cm squared. Plus 4 times 8, that is 32. Cm times Cm, that is Cm squared. Ending up with area at 48 centimeter squared. So the area of the kite is 48 centimeter squared. So when you look at all, all the methods we have used, we are getting the same answer. Method one, we used using diagonals to work out the area of the kite. Method two, we used the four right angle triangles that form a kite. There are four right angle triangles, one, two, three, four. But remember, this one and this one are of the same size. That means they have the same area. That is why I put the area of one and double it, multiply it by two to get the total area of the two. The same applies to this one. This one and this one will have the same area because they have the same base and the same height. So getting the area of one and multiplying it by two, I would have got the total area of the two right angle triangle. So I worked out and ended up getting the same answer. With method one, with method two, and with method three, we get the same answer. Now, what I'm going to do is now to give you at least two questions that you will have to answer during your free time and that will be the activity. So now, the activity you will do is here, we'll have two questions that you will have to answer during your free time.
is 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters. And then this is 8 centimeters by 6 centimeters. This is K and M F. And that is our number one. So number two, you are finding the area of another kind. is another kite. Second diagonal is 3.5 centimeter by 3.5 centimeters. So that is what you try during your free time. Uh, thank you for watching this lesson. That's the end of our lesson. I wish you well. <laughs>